Hey guys, Breezy CPA here, your certified public accountant, back with another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at this article that I found here. Pricewaterhouse Cooper is training junior accountants to be like managers because AI is going to be doing the entry level work for them. So basically, what this article is talking about is that AI is going to be redefining the entry level jobs when it comes to the accounting profession. In three years, junior accountants will be doing the jobs of managers. PricewaterhouseCooper AI leader says uh, she told Business Insider that the tech is making the firm go back to basics on how it trains its young accountants. So basically, this article is discussing uh, how AI is going to be allowing these junior accountants to be doing the work of what was traditionally the work of managers and supervisors. Uh, back when I was working in uh, public accounting, uh, I started out doing all of this monotonous uh, entry level work like, um, you know, data entry, uh, transaction processing, sampling, um, you know, confirmations, uh, variance analysis, uh, things like that, compiling the work papers for various engagements. And then what you would have to do is you would have to pass on that work to a manager or a supervisor to verify that whatever you did was correct because you were a junior accountant and you technically didn't really know what you were doing so it needed to be checked by a supervisor in order to make sure that that information was accurate but now what's happening with the use of ai and what we're seeing in many different industries is that um ai is basically taking over these entry level um roles where the uh, inputting of data, the compiling of data, uh, you know, confirmation tracking, invoice tracking, things like that, um, entry into spreadsheets, that can be done by AI. So that basically means that now a junior accountant doesn't need to do that anymore. Um, and so what happens in that situation? Well, the junior accountant now can use AI in order to verify that that information is correct. So think you can do your boss's job. If you're a junior accountant, you might soon find out. New hires at PricewaterhouseCooper will be doing the roles that managers are doing within three years because they will be overseeing AI performing routine repetitive audit tasks. Um, said here by a leader at PricewaterhouseCooper, people are going to walk in the door and almost instantaneously become reviewers and supervisors. And technically, this is correct. Uh, I mean, these are roles that were traditionally managerial roles or supervisory roles uh, within the accounting profession. And now you are going to have a junior accountant that is going to be not need to manually enter this information or compile the work papers and uh, put all this information together, they'll just be reviewing this information, which will technically uh, make them a manager or a reviewer. Uh, PricewaterhouseCooper, one of the big four accounting and consulting firms, is deploying AI to take over tasks like data gathering and processing. This is uh, leaving entry-level employees free to focus on more advanced and value-added work. As we've seen uh, within the accounting profession, within the tech profession, in basically every industry, AI is taking a lot over a lot of these entry level roles uh, within companies and accounting is no exception. Three years from now, we will feel like the first years are functioning more like fourth years. We will look back and say, oh, these young people feel like more of managers of my day. And that's exactly what it'll be. Um, you know, the managers in, in my day were the people that would review my work that I put together. Uh, but now it's going to be the junior accountant, their first day on the job. They're going to be reviewing the work of the AI to make sure that that work is accurate. But this brings into question uh, a lot of things as to are these employees going to be developing the skills necessary to be uh, accountants? Are they going to know how to do these processes on their own or are they just going to be relying on the AI because um, that could hinder them in the future uh, 
when they want to maybe open up their own firm or go out on their own, if they don't know how to do these tasks, if they haven't hit their head against the wall and run into situations and problems that they needed to resolve on their own, are they going to be able to navigate these situations um, and know basically what goes behind these numbers and putting these things together, or are they just gonna be reliant on AI, uh, which could potentially hold back a lot of people from advancing in their career, not knowing uh, the fundamentals of the job itself. So um, they go on to say here, CoStar said that the technology meant PricewaterhouseCooper was changing how it trains its junior employees, adding that entry-level workers have to know how to review and supervise the, supervise the AI's work, where the big four firm once focused on teaching young employees to execute audit tasks, it's now focused on more back to basics training and the fundamentals of what an audit should do for the client. And a lot of these clients are going to be asking themselves, okay, well, if AI is doing all the work, uh, so we're, we're not having an accountant do this uh, this manual entry and these were the the grunt work for us if you're relying on ai to do that work then why can't we just go out and do it on our own so um the there's going to be the credibility issue when it comes to working with various clients there's more time in the programming to teach junior employees deeper critical thinking negotiation and professional skepticism she said adding they previously would have been trained in these soft skills later on in their career. AI is rapidly pushing the industry in a new direction. Uh, COSAR was a partner here at, and Assurance AI is the AI product for PricewaterhouseCooper. Uh, for all of its potential, AI is challenging the big four's long-held business model, organizational structures, and day-to-day -day roles. So before, you know, there was a, um, there was a path that you needed to take uh, as an accountant. Uh, when you got uh, into the accounting field, you you started off with these entry level roles, and you slowly learned uh, how everything works within the system. And then you ended up, after a couple of years, moving up to a managerial role, and uh, so on and so forth. But now we're basically uh, saying that they're going to be eliminating that, and right off the bat. Um, you are going to be relying on AI and becoming a supervisor and manager, which I don't think is possible. Um, you really need to go through that uh, learning process, just like in any field. I mean, you can't just type into AI, teach me how to hit a golf ball like Tiger Woods or shoot a basketball like Michael Jordan, and it's going to spit out some information for you. And all of a sudden, uh, you're Tiger Woods or Michael Jordan. No, you have to go, you have to put in the reps, you have to make the mistakes um, in order to learn how to do these various accounting tasks. Um, and I think that the overuse of AI by these junior accountants could potentially hinder them in the long run, not that it doesn't have its benefits. Firms are considering are having to consider the outcome-based pricing models based on the results instead of billing clients by the hour. Exactly. So clients are going to be saying, okay, you're utilizing AI. So uh, why are you charging me an hourly rate? So we're, we're just going to be charging based on the completion of tasks rather than um, the time that it took the uh, individual accountants to put that information together. Uh, Alan Payton, a former partner at PricewaterhouseCooper, who is now uh, at Google, told the insider that automation could increasingly cause clients to question why they should pay consultants big money when they can get answers instantaneously from a tool. And that's exactly what's going to happen. I mean, why are we paying a, a consultant when that consultant is going to go and use an AI tool uh, to respond to whatever questions I have um, when I can go use a tool myself and figure out that information on my own? So uh, I think that the use overuse of AI is going to uh, detract from the value that um, 
specific accountants or people in any other field uh, may have when we overutilize uh, the use of AI. While AI is already transforming more junior roles, uh, the, tech, um, the technology will eventually affect senior roles as well. That's only a matter of time. Uh, partners and managers will have to adapt to new types of requests from clients who are asking how AI can fully take over certain business tasks. It's a shift in how we serve clients as opposed to accelerating progression of capabilities. COSAR acknowledged that there was a fear that AI would reduce critical thinking capabilities and replace jobs, but she said she thought AI would lead to better informed, faster developing professionals. Well, this is kind of a lie here because we've already seen that uh, the big four are laying off people left and right, as well as in the tech industry. Um, and um, yes, uh, it, it, it can uh, help people be better informed uh, and develop in certain ways. Um, but uh, this is also going to lead to more people being laid off because of this reliance on AI. We will actually get to a better place in terms of how auditing works, how consulting works, and be able to focus on higher value insights and information, she added. So this is a double-edged sword here when it comes to the use of AI and its impact on the accounting profession here specifically. And this idea that you can just walk into a job as a junior accountant and be a manager your first day on the job, it doesn't sit well with me, not only because I had to go through years of suffering um, as a junior accountant uh, to become a manager, um, but it, it really takes away from what uh, you need to go through in order to learn the accounting that goes behind um, these various audits and whatever um, projects you're working on. You need to understand the fundamentals behind uh, the numbers uh, and not just utilize and rely on AI um, because it will uh, hinder you in the future. Uh, let's take a look at some comments and see what other people have to say about uh, this uh, idea that you can be a manager your first day on the job uh, using AI in accounting. So taking a look at some comments here about what people have to say about this article, not having a basic understanding of how the entry level work is completed is going to kill the cred credibility of the profession in the future. It will also make it much harder to go off and start your own firm if you don't have the fundamentals down. I feel like that's the real goal here. So um, yeah. I mean, uh, this is reiterating what I was saying earlier. Uh, if you don't have those fundamental skills, um, you are not going to uh, have the expertise in order to start your own firm in the future or go on to uh, higher positions that require you to own this knowledge, to have this knowledge on your own and not be reliant on AI uh, to do the work for you. And this is an interesting point here, and I feel like that's the real goal here. Maybe that is what they are trying to do. You're, you're dumbing the people down. If you make them reliant on the AI, um, then they cannot advance forward uh, on their own, um, and you can keep them uh, you know, lower uh, on the totem pole uh, because they don't have that information available to them um, intrinsically. So blind reliance on AI and outsourcing is a ticking time bomb in this profession. Uh, it's already causing problems for firms because they want senior managers, but they aren't making them with the skills and ability to do the job. So yeah, I mean, all these firms, they want the CPAs, they want the managers, they want those people in those roles. Uh, but, you know, if you are setting up uh, the structure of your company from the get-go on day one that, um, you know, here, we're going to teach you how to use these AI tools. Um, you are basically not teaching them what they need to know in order to get to those higher positions. They turned their very valuable pyramid into a worthless diamond and don't know what to do about it. Um, certain structures are 
uh, purpose built folks need low level experience to do high level work and you have to go through uh, that grunt work uh, in order to get to those higher levels i fully believe that i also add that these freaks won't pay entry level uh people like managers so yeah th that's another thing they want to underpay these people um and they also want them to be managers in the same uh, breath so less regulation fewer personnel and over reliance on ai is a bad mix uh, firms needing work will have started asking when they will see any of these savings um i don't get what the big four are thinking it if, if, the, if their entire operation is just outsourcing plus ai with the occasional human review then the client can skip the middleman and get that themselves so a lot of clients are going to be asking themselves what are we paying for here um if we can do a lot of these things on our own y'all i'm 40. Uh, they've been saying our jobs are going to be redundant since i was in college back then software was going to replace us instead all they've done is continue to pass uh, more complicated disclosures auditing and financial standards i'm not panicking here uh, i'll be retired in a few years but i also sp suspect once ai can do the full close process it's the end of the world at that point, AI can probably do everything. Nearly every job is gone, and the jobs uh, that could be left will have zero paying customers because we will all be jobless. So it's more likely PricewaterhouseCoopers is trying to elevate junior accountants because managers won't deal with their shitty working conditions and have plenty of opportunities elsewhere. So yeah. I mean, you know, a lot of people uh, recently have been leaving the accounting professions. We have that retiring um, base of baby boomers, a huge number of baby boomer CPAs are retiring from the profession. So there's this big void within the accounting profession um, that needs to be filled. So maybe that's uh, what they're doing here. You know, they're saying, OK, first day on the job, you're a manager now. So uh, this person says here, this post pissed me off, to be honest. Uh, I have a running theory that all these firms switching to AI, offshoring, and private equity uh, takeover can only run things into the ground for so long before major issues start coming up. And this is absolutely true. And that's what I see happening in the future as well. Uh, we have AI, we have the offshoring, we have private equity taking over, and then you also have a governmental deregulation, as we're seeing with the Public Company Accounting Oversight Board and the SEC wanting to roll that into the SEC, basically eliminating the Public Company Accounting Oversight Board. We also have these AI companies dumping a lot of money into lobbying efforts so that there are not strict regulations by the states on how AI can be used. Um, uh, going forward over the next decade. So um, after it's too late, everyone will discover that AI screwed things up. And that's when the competent CPAs can come in and charge hundreds of dollars an hour to clean up the mess. So yes, if you are interested in becoming a CPA, becoming an accountant, uh, I think it's going to only grow in value in the future because of this over-reliance and hype uh, on AI. Uh, if you're interested in learning more about accounting, becoming a CPA, make sure to check out breezycpa.com. Link will be in the description box below. Use promo code breezy20 to get 20% off your courses. Um, the accounting profession uh, right now is in a dip, in a lull, um, and I think it's going to catch up with the accounting profession uh, in the not too near future uh, with all of this um, stuff going on with AI, offshoring, private equity, deregulation. Um, there is going to be a need for good accountants in the future. Uh, like this person says, to clean up the mess that is currently being made um, in the profession. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you guys think about this article. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thank you to all the new subscribers and all the new students at breezycpa.com. And I will see you guys in the next one.